Ready or not starts Mara weaving as Grace Leathermas, who marries the man of her dreams. Or so she thought. Because she is completely unaware of this strange and mysterious family tradition that the Leathermas family have. Every time a new member joins the family, they have to play a certain game. And a game of hide and seek soon turns into a violent bloodbath. Now, I wasn't originally going to watch this movie, but the trailer really intrigued me. It looked like a more adult and horror take on a children's game. The concept of the movie seemed really fun, however unrealistic it may be. Because, like, who... Which family has a tradition where they try to kill each other? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And this is exactly what this movie is like. It's dumb fun. It is very graphic, suspenseful, and violent. People get shot in the face, they get their heads chopped off, they get crushed, and all sorts of stuff. It was also surprisingly funny, and there are a lot of tongue-in-cheek moments. In fact, I would say this movie is more of a comedic horror than anything else. Basically, in this movie, Grace, the main protagonist, had to hide, and everyone else in the Ledemus family had to try to find her and to kill her. Otherwise, they think that they will all die after dawn. And I thought Samara Weaving played her role really well. She was easily one of the best things about this movie. But honestly, everyone, or most people, in the main cast had their time to shine as well. Although some characters could have developed into something much more, but they didn't. Although this didn't really bother me too much because I was already really invested into what was happening on the screen. The overall look and the setting of this movie also added to the suspenseful and horror element of the movie. Most of the time they were confined in this really massive mansion, right? and there wouldn't be a lot of white lights. The walls and ground were dark, the lighting was of a faint orange, it had this really creepy and mysterious vibe, kind of like in a haunted house. One thing that I was proved wrong, and I'm glad it did, was that I thought that the trailer showed a little bit too much, but this was absolutely not the case at all. Yes, the trailer did show you some minor key things that happened, but there's a whole lot more that actually goes on in the movie, and you kind of have to watch it, to understand what it's ultimately about. And that's why I like this movie. This movie was a lot better than I thought it would be, but that's not to say that this movie was without flaws. The beginning was kind of dragged out, kind of boring. There were a lot of people talking and I get that, you know, you have to put up the time to set up these characters and the story. But I was just like, you know what? Let's just get to the fun part where people start killing each other. And when it got to that part, it felt like an entirely different movie, from something that seemed out of a rom-com to a very dark and mysterious murder fest. But I feel like the biggest downfall of this movie was that third act. At that point, the story just felt really messy and all over the place. And to put it without spoilers, of course, characters act a certain way, but then they change, and their actions don't align with what we think will happen. It's odd, and towards the end of the movie, it kind of strayed to a more supernatural and satanic theme. Which, okay, I, like, I'm fine with that, you know, and the initial direction that it took after that, like, when everything calmed down, I was fine with as well, because that could have ended on a really funny note and being the real cherry on top. But then it went in a completely different direction, one that I had not really anticipated at all, and I wasn't a huge fan of that, because it just felt more supernatural and didn't feel very realistic at all. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is what this movie wanted us to go with anyway. I also wish this movie could have explored more of the mansion and uh, uncover more things as the story had progressed. Seeing how most of this movie was confined within this massive mansion, I felt like they could have done much more with the environment at hand. Kind of like an Outlast, where each section is like a new adventure. What was also funny to me was that my first impression of these characters were that they were really upper class, posh, British, with these really fancy dresses and suits, and set in the late 90s. But this was obviously not the case at all. These characters use a lot of profanity and there are a lot of references of social media, such as Instagram, which I didn't really expect at all from rich, upper class people like them. Now this is a movie that can be hard to contain, because if one thing goes wrong, then the movie is over, you know what I mean? One scene in particular, I was like, wow, how'd she survive that? So this movie really pushes the boundaries of what can be considered realistic. Actually, I think it's over that boundary, 
But all in all, I think this is a really enjoyable movie, and I'm sure that a majority of people who watch this will have a really fun time. I'm going to give Ready or Not a B+. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you seen Ready or Not? What did you think about it? Please leave a comment on your thoughts below. Like the video if you liked it, and drop a sub to help the channel out. Also, feel free to check out my previous video. Until next time.